The Heather Farmer conflict had been predicted more than a decade ago by those who have studied and saw that the impact of climate change was increasingly going to push the headers to go down, down, down and deeper toward the ocean. Governments ignore that and that means that we are now being forced under pressure. In the middle belt we are really strengthening uh, the peace architecture uh, and working uh, on building bridges uh, between uh, Fulani herdsmen and farming communities. These different groups have shown us their culture through performances. The most important thing left is for us to return home and put into good use what we have learned from the performances. Where two or more are gathered, one person may step on the other's toes. When such happens, instead of confronting the person, approach that person and ask, why did you step on my toes? You may be surprised that the person will say, I am sorry. The headsmen and the local farmers, we share with each other. And with little problems, they were able to resolve them. Further advocate is more cooperation between the traditional rulers and the Fulani leaders. Let us all train our children properly to learn that we can come together and become one. We are all living together in peace. Between us and the people nowadays is laughter and laughter and joy. Living in peace and all that it takes to live together is what we must all do. All of you have something to contribute to your communities. Activities like this will help you, will let you get some time to sit back and just think about how all of you guys contribute to the communities and how you all are beneficial. There will always be some type of conflict in communities. That's a given, but that I hope that you'll be able to solve those conflicts in a peaceful manner. It is the community themselves that are developing and writing these stories and script and then performing the drama. And that gives them a, a, a higher sense of ownership uh, about this drama being about themselves. <laughs>